What's up TMB family? Welcome back to the channel you guys. So I am currently 30 weeks pregnant. I did give my doctor a call yesterday. I have been having some unexpected symptoms a little bit more severe than I did with Taji and a little bit more than what I expected to have at 30 weeks. As some of you know the background, I have had uh, Braxton Hicks and I've also been having severe pelvic pain and now it's been addressed and followed by some discharge. So I did call my doctor, left her a voicemail because I wasn't able to get a hold of them. I did let them know my symptoms. Again, I'm 30 weeks pregnant, so I did give them a heads up on the symptoms that I'm having. And she did advise that the pelvic pains mixed with the Braxton Hicks is a little bit of a concern. And then now that the discharge is there, they are a little bit of con like it is concerning. So she did give me a call back. Here's and they left me a voicemail. Here's the voicemail. Hi, this is the Australia Women's Health Center. I'm returning your call, 63-846-7558, extension 6607. If we don't get to talk to you tonight, I do suggest you go to the hospital to the labor and delivery department at Banner Australia. Thank you. Bye-bye. So they do want me to go in and get checked um, just to make sure because she did say when I called her back that it was concerning. So we are going to head over to the hospital right now. I'm not going to lie. I am very concerned. I've been emotional and I'm trying to keep it together because it is really early and I don't want anything unexpected to happen or be boy to come too early like he's safest here and I want him to stay in here for as long as he needs to but Tosh keeps reminding me like don't be a saddie be a baddie you're not a savage you're a bad bitch keep pushing you're okay everything's gonna be okay keep thinking positive so that's exactly what I'm trying to do right now and since the hospital doesn't have really good service and we won't be able to go live I am just gonna go ahead and document the process for you guys so it'll be here on YouTube in the rest of this video, we'll keep you guys posted and updated. Love you guys. Oh, is that the Tyler guy? They gon' know about us, my love, your love, our love. Oh, that's fine. Can we shoot another video already? Okay, we literally have nothing for the baby. Like, I'm not ready. I know. We're gonna think, we're gonna think best case scenario. I'm trying. I'm trying, I'm literally trying, but after seeing like all of the besties comments, it's scaring me. Like, okay. what if? Like, I've been thinking positive this whole time, but it's like, well, that's what why we're gonna go. That's why, that's why we're gonna go to the doctor and see what the doctor said. She said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. I'm scared. I'm not ready. You'll be okay, baby. Let's go in and see. Let's not stress it twice because we don't even know. We don't even know what's wrong. So until we find out what's wrong, like you don't want to stress about something two times in a row. Yeah. If it's there, we'll stress about it once it gets there. But we're not gonna stress about it if it ain't here because it ain't here yet. Technically, it don't exist. Okay. Sauce. Awesome. All right, you good? You good? All right, come on, let's get this. All right, y'all. So we just made it to the hospital. Um. Trying to get B to get the courage to go ahead and uh, hop on out so we can see what's popping. So we just got off live. A lot of the besties were saying that they're like in preterm, preterm labor, like 30 weeks. And we just over here like, damn. And obviously, baby it's girl in out. shambles. Y'all done. literally scaring me. Y'all done scared her. But look, we're gonna go in. We're gonna keep you updated. Okay, if there's no go. Wi Fi in here, I got y'all in the video. Let's get it. Little blanket. Hey, look, y'all. So I got this cool mask that they gave me. Souvenir for sure. And look at this name tag. It's nice, huh? You like that? Oh, they didn't put this monitor, baby. You have to put the heart on. You do what? This heart. You're gonna wrap that around my belly with a little heart monitor. Ow. Oh, you look so cute in a pregnant gown. <laughs> in a pregnant gown? It's yeah. A I'm a, gown. No, I'm gonna call it a pregnant gown. <laughs> it's a pregnant gown to me. It's but, a question. Here. What do you do? We only 30 weeks, they feel like it's a little early to be up in here. That's what I'm saying. Like, this is scary. It feels a little too much like when I had Taj. Hey, but let's be real. <laughs> the chairs are reclined. Are you playing? You should have seen what they gave me with Taji. They didn't have these in Kelly, you guys. So Taj is super excited. Because uh -huh. we had Taj and Kelly. Oh. So, babe, how are you feeling? You don't seem so anxious anymore. I, she called me. She was talking to me. She was trying to let me know that everything... Like my blood pressure and everything was normal. Um, I did tell her I was a little scared. Look, I'm getting feel, 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 feel. 
Oh. Oh yeah, it feels like a knot. Oh. It feels like like literally like a. Oh my god, I had I had one when she was checking my blood pressure, and then this is the second one already, like back to back. And then I told her about my uh, my severe pelvic pain and my discharge, and she asked me what my pain level is. I told her about a six seven, and she asked when I would need pain meds, and I said about. 10, I can hold up to 10, like, when I... Damn, you tough. That's what you said with the epidural with Taji. Yeah. Took you out. <laughs> Took me out quick. So I just did a... I gave him a urine sample just now. And they're gonna come in here in a second. Okay. We'll keep you guys posted. Alright, best so we'll keep you updated. That's good. Mm -hmm. Why are you sad? Yeah, it's cold. cold. Supposed to be toasty. Stay, uh, make sure my kitty, so, kitty is covered. Um, no contractions, right? Oh, wow, you got that contraption. Yeah, look at oh, this. Well, it's a little baby's it. heart. Oh, my gosh. Careful. Oh, actually, oh. there's nothing up there. Oh, she took off the. Why did she take off the screen? She told me it shows contractions. I don't know. I don't think you're contracting. But I peeped the heartbeat, though. Did you hear how it sped up out of nowhere? Yeah, right here. That's out of general. He ain't doing backflips. Y'all, he on X Games mode right now. I'm a task group. That was normal because he did like a really, really like loud and like like a very fast jump in his heart rate. I'm such a worry mom, huh? Yeah, you're a little worried, but I worry so much. I know. She kept asking me if Taj was preterm. Yeah, but he wasn't. He wasn't, but like, why did she ask me? He heard her Just shit. maybe if you have like a, like a history of it or something. Yeah, I don't know. she asked me a few times, even though I said no. So, what is she gonna do right now? So she's gonna come back in and she's gonna do a full exam. So she's gonna swab, just general, to make sure that there's no infections. Um, and then there are any types of contractions she said she's gonna go ahead and do a pelvic exam to see if I'm dilated at all. 29 weeks there's a couple of things like I said we did a couple of tests we're gonna send those tests we're gonna send those tests to be you know analyzed and see what's going on it might be an infection we're gonna send your urine and if it is an infection we'll address it we'll give you antibiotics and if it is just you're contracting away, well, we can give you medication to stop the contractions, okay? I'll let the doctor know once we get all the results of everything. Okay. Okay. And then um, being one centimeter, does infections cause any of that or that's just the body going into preterm? Um, the body going into preterm labor probably maybe because of infection, you know? Okay. Uh, so that's why we're, we're, I did all those tests that I told you we were doing. So once we get the results, if nothing is everything negative, then we just try to keep you from going into active labor. You okay. are showing that you're contracting, not on a regular, but then we could also give you medications to stop the contraction. Okay. Hey, mom. Hey. Hey. More a centimeter dilated. Really? Yeah. So what does that mean? She said that my Braxton Hicks are not Braxton Hicks, they're contractions. It's early labor? Yeah, it's preterm. Okay, how's the, the baby? How's the stress test? Um, she hasn't given me an update on that yet, but she said that she just took some testing um, to see if there's like any infections or anything, and then they're going to try to stop it. They're going to try to give me steroids to prepare his lungs. And they're gonna see if they're able to stop it with anything, but a lot of times women still go to preterm labor because it's just the body. Okay, well, I'm, I'm so I scared. know that it's not, it's okay because they have so much technology. The baby's healthy, he's gonna have a heartbeat. Even if he was to deliver early, they have so much like stuff to keep him alive. Don't stress. Don't stress. 
I didn't have it. And if they can stop it, then they'll get it stopped. But do not, don't stress. I know it's hard not to. He'll be okay. He'll be okay. You're far enough along that he he can make it. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah it's, he's far enough developed to where they, they had to do an emergency C-section or something. Or if you delivered him, they can keep him alive. But they just need to get that stress test immediately to make sure his heart is good and doesn't drop. Oh. So I'm sure that they're probably doing all of that right now. Yeah, she's got the monitor wrapped around my belly. She said he, he seemed okay and he's moving a lot. Good. That's all. That's It's perfect. He's going to be okay. okay. He'll be okay. <sighs> Don't stress. Um, I wasn't ready. I want to like... <laughs> I just wasn't ready I for it. I know. I know. <laughs> I'm glad you guys didn't wait and I'm glad that you're there. They'll get you taken care of. If anything happens, like I will be up there in a heartbeat. Okay. If you need me to come up now, I will. I know Taj is there, and I know Taji and the boys, they'll be fine. Okay. Yeah, I'll keep but it updated. But don't stress. I, I, I promise you, I, I know this is scary, but I feel good because he's he's many, many weeks ahead. Many weeks. Like, he can. he's definitely okay to survive. It just scared me when she said they have to give stuff for his lungs because he's next. When I look at the app, it says, like, his his lungs and everything is supposed to fully develop in the next couple of weeks. Right. It's, it's, I know. And right now they're not developed and he would have to stay in the hospital for at least two months. Oh my God. If he does. But let's, let's listen. We don't know if that's what's going to happen. So don't stress yourself. Um, they got a lot of stuff to stop the labor as well for whatever reason. They got to figure out why maybe it's kicking you into that early. But you know, the meds, we'll see if that'll get it stopped at least. I think they're going to keep you overnight for sure. Okay. Do you need me? Oh, I can't get in your room. Shoot. I was going to say, if you need me to bring you anything, just let's, let's do this. Keep me posted. Okay. I got my phone right here. Okay. You let me know what you need. I'll make sure you have it. Okay. Tell Tosh to call me if anything changes. But as soon as they give you the medicine to kind of stop it or you get an update, please please let me know. Okay. I'll, I'll call you as soon as she comes back in. She just took the test um, back for testing. So she's, okay. she Can checked. You, what hospital are you at? Banner. It's 13 minutes away from the house. So worst case scenario. Oh, is it Banner? Is that the one that I took my mom to? Is that like over there off of like uh, Tunnel Road? This one, Thomas Road. Thomas, yeah. And the labor and delivery is really, they're really, they're really good. They're really nice. Yeah, I, I saw the little labor department when I took my mom to the emergency. Okay. Okay, so if anything, just I'll shoot up there. It's not that far away. Don't be scared. Don't be stressed. Don't be scared. Don't, you're in good hands. I know you are. I'm, I'm, I know you are. Okay, baby. Oh, I'll give you a big hug. You'll be okay, baby. I promise. Okay. Okay. I love, love you. you. I'll keep you posted. Love you too. Okay. Okay. Bye. 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 You scared me. She's so sweet. Sure. Okay. I'm not ready. Okay. Okay, boy. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna give you more fluids, alternative IV, and then and then ultrasound will come in, and then it's gonna be a random um, to check to see the thickness of your cervix. Okay. okay. Obviously, if your cervix, so the uterus is kind of like a balloon, and then you know how the the balloon has like an opening. You know, that's what how your your cervix is coming. When you start going into labor, that cervix starts getting thinner and thinner and thinner, oh. and that's what you're gonna look at. Okay, so okay. they're just trying to see if it's thin. Yes. And you can't feel that, obviously. They have um, I did, I did, and I still feel some cervix, but now they're gonna do it with an ultrasound. Okay. okay. But everything came back um, negative for everything is negative infection. Yes. Uh huh. Okay. So yeah, they'll do the ultrasound and see if there's anything else. But, okay. Okay. Have you seen? I felt a couple. Was I did. Yeah. I did see them. I did see them. So, and I do tell them when you do get a contraction, they're not regular contractions, but when you do, 
they're totally like I can tell your your belly gets super hard. Yeah. Okay. So that then and your cervix is really soft too. So that's kind of something that we would. If it's soft, does it typically mean it's thinner or how can you tell? I know that it's soft, meaning that it's just opening. It's yeah, it's soft and stretchable. You know, so that that kind of something to that we usually see when patients are going into labor. Okay. Or you have several pregnancies and your your services can be soft, but we wouldn't want you at 20 minutes. Okay. I did ask them another thing that we I had told you about was maybe giving you steroids, but he wants to for me to give you the fluids, look at the results of the um, of the ultrasound angle from there. Okay. Then if those are negative and stuff and you're still contracting, then we might give you steroids or we might keep you overnight. So we're going to continue doing Just this. monitor. Mm -hmm. Monitor. Okay. And then I'm going to send that other test that I told you about. The It's called the FFN and that kind of is an indicator to see if you're going into preterm. Okay. okay. Will we get the results for that? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, look what you showed up. Mom with the care package. I hear him. <laughs> 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 yeah. Is that a good sign? Yeah. So, yeah, it's always like. <laughs> you got some good veins over there. That's the only yeah. thing they're good for. One? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, hopefully they're not rolling. Here we go. We're in. Oh, Jesus Christ. Can you sweat? Oh, oh you're so good. good. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm just going to finish turning it You might taste this. So salty. Going in beautifully. Do <laughs> <laughs> you really taste it? Oh, it's crazy. Yeah, sometimes you can taste bitter or salty or. Yes. So he said to give you a liter of fluids, which that's what I have. Now, are you in the medical field? No. No? I was going to. I did all the prerequisites for radiology. Uh-huh. And then I waited too long to see. It took two years and I had to go to work. Oh. Okay, so you let her know. If you continue having contractions, um, you know, just let her know. Okay. And then Dr. Rafi, will, there will be a report also. Okay. Done. But so does it show in the ultrasound that it's still dilated or? It no, we're just like checking you. Oh, so okay. if you go into the office, when you see, if when you go into the office, you can let Dr. Um, Caldwell know that you were one centimeter when you picked your triage. Okay. And are they still going to give a steroid or is that? I am going to call him on the results okay. and then see what he wants to do. Okay. 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 Mm -hmm. All right. So everything looks good. Very good. So. Okay. Okay. So with me having like these mini contractions, what is that? Well, and that's the thing that if they continue, you need to come I back. Have to come back. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. they're gonna eventually discharge me, and then I just have to monitor. Yeah. That's if we don't keep you. You know, like I said. So you don't even know yet if they're going to keep you. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. you got to be monitored a little longer. Okay. And then finish your fluids. Okay. So, ultrasound came back decent. It came up good, right? Somewhere around there. This is good news. But, we are still here a little longer. Okay, 
Mm-hmm. You already know. They got a tip they got a cafeteria, but that is definitely not nah, Chick-fil-A. Let me see what y'all can try something like. Damn. Yeah, so I look y'all. This purple bar. See that flat bar? That's no contraction. This big bar right here is a contraction. Yeah, that's huge. That's like right as she was putting it on my belly, like my stomach literally contracted. I'm trying to hold it together. It's still going right now? It's still, it's barely going down yet. Thank God. Mom. <laughs> Why is she on this joint? Maybe it's numb. They got you on that. Well, that's the question that I asked you. I said, does it, take, does it just take the pain away or does it stop the contraction? Hmm. All right, y'all. So we just got some fries. We had a quesadilla. We had some more fries. Shout out Mama Taj. Shout out Mama's her idea. How do you feel better after fries, huh? feel better. And they gave me... Um, Pretty much. It takes away the contractions. You know what's really weird? I just felt that. I felt that one. That was a big one. I think that's looking strange. I felt but alright, y'all. We gonna finish the ice cream. We gonna keep y'all updated. Alright, y'all. So it is twelve oh seven. Dang. Didn't even see her take it out. That thing hurts. Ah. The little blood blood. It's 12.07, we've been here since, what time we get here, 5.20? 5.30ish, five, five yeah. 5.30ish. So ultimately, um, she gave me, she ended up giving me medication to stop the contractions. And she said that, so I'm going to follow up with my doctor. My doctor said she was going to call me tomorrow and see what everything that happened today. And if the contractions start up again, or any, if I feel any type of contractions, I need to come back. So that's where we're at right now. We'll keep you guys updated, regardless of what, how everything goes. I'm exhausted. I cannot wait to go home. Then you okay? How are you and mom feeling? Um, jeez, I'm freaking tired. Look at my hair all crooked. Mom, I know mom's tired. Poor oh, mom. Dang. She came. Mom was with us the whole time. I know she, she came through, busting with some extra waters, some the extra, food. extra whatever we Got needed. The, the food, the snacks. But oh. all right, but she's we gonna. Guys. Go ahead and get up out of here. Home and we'll keep you guys posted. Love you guys. Peace.